Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Welcome back to another planty video. So this is gonna be day one of a planty experiment that I'm going to be doing and it is testing out uh, self-watering pots. I have never used self-watering pots before. Um, I've heard really good things about them. So I ordered some for us to test out. Let me open this. I have not even opened this yet. Okay, so this is what they look like. I ordered these off of Amazon, so I will link them, but they're literally just plastic pots. I think these are like four inch pots maybe. Um, really lightweight. And then they come with the this little net thing that sits in them. And you put a wick through. We'll, we'll assemble it together, of course. But um, yeah, okay. Never used this before. I'm really not a fan of white pots at all, but I figure if I like these, I could always paint them, um, you know, make a little project out of it. I couldn't really find any that I really loved the look of when I was looking for some to order, and I just wanted to order, like, affordable ones. Um, I, you know, th this ain't no, like, Lechuza self-watering pot, but I think it's gonna work just fine. The reviews were pretty good. So I'm really excited to test it out and I'm actually gonna be testing it with uh, potting mix, pawn, and Lekka. So we're gonna test out those three mediums and see how these pots work for all of them. So this video is gonna be over a span of several weeks. Um, I'll post it when it's all complete. Uh, so today we're just gonna get started with everything. I'm gonna pot up some plants um, and then I am going to give you guys updates and let you know how I'm liking them. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that you just put, there's two holes on the bottom. I think you just put the wick through like that. Is that right? I think that that's right. So this there's like a lot of space like this pot only goes down to about here so then you're supposed to keep this full of water and then it's gonna wick it up to the medium so let's just get started um why don't i start with lekka since it's right here on the top now i have a really tough time with lekka um it's really hit or miss for me sometimes it's awesome and sometimes my plants just perish so I'm really curious, maybe these pots are gonna be a game changer. I don't know. Um, which plant do I wanna put into Leica now? It's like it's like Russian roulette. Like who am I gonna potentially kill? I have my perlite propagation box here, so I'm just gonna take a look at what's inside and we're gonna choose a cutting to work with. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the Skindapsis Exotica cuttings. They're really well-rooted. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I guess we'll try them out in Lekka. I've never grown Skindapsis in Lekka before, but really curious. It's a hardy plant, so, you know, giving this experiment the best shot. So I'm just gonna fill this up with some Lekka. Okay, so that is what it looks like in there. Um, I'm gonna rinse this with water just to kind of wet all of the Lekka and then I will fill up our reservoir. Okay, so I ran some water through the Lekka and I'm gonna fill up our little reservoir here. I have this, um, watering can full of water. I did add a little bit of Super Thrive. I'm going to give that to all of them, just so you know. 
to fill that up and see. I think it would probably be helpful to like mark where the water is, but I'm just going to try. Let me see. You can actually kind of see through this pot. So just looking at it in the light, I can add a little bit more water. It's pretty close, so that should be good. It is full about up to there with water and that's right about where the pot is. So that should be good. That is what it looks like. It actually looks pretty cute. Like I vibe with this. If I painted this black, it'd be perfect. Okay, so that is gonna be our Lekka one. Now I have my little philodendron tortum right here that I've been meaning to pot up. Don't ask me why I am doing it in this experiment when this is one of my favorite plants. I do have another one though um, in my prop box actually that I grew from wet stick. So I'm not like too worried if something goes awry, but I think I'm gonna do soil for this one. Don't wanna get too wild. Let me get another pot off of here. My potting mix is down here. gonna fill it up with some potting mix. Okay, that is what it looks like so far. I really hope that this was a good idea. I guess we'll find out. I think I'm gonna do the same thing where I water this through and then fill up the reservoir. So let me go water this through at the sink. Okay, oh, this looks so cute in soil. I'm so excited to finally have this potted up again. Okay, I'm just gonna fill up the reservoir with the same water. Set that down somewhere clean. Kind of measure to see actually should be pretty good okay i think that's actually pretty perfect so that is going to be our soil option i might do two in soil i'm undecided but um yes i'm gonna set that one aside and next we're gonna try some pawn so I'm actually going to be potting my Hoya sigillatus into pawn. Okay, I'm going to take some of the sphagnum, or all of the sphagnum off, I guess. You can see some of its little rooties. This one's really full of algae. It's been in sphagnum moss for almost a year, actually. It's crazy. I revived it after it was imported. It only had one leaf that survived. Okay, I just took the moss off off screen because it was just, you know, to save time basically. Um, but I got almost all of the moss off and the root system looks amazing. Look at that, it's gorgeous. So I'm going to pop this guy into the pond and then I can finish filling it up. So that's what it looks like. Okay, that is what it looks like in the pond. Looks really good. I'm gonna go do the same thing, wet this through and then fill up the reservoir. There it is. Okay, so I did a little bonus one. I put this little polonia into soil and set it up the exact same way. 
So I'm gonna go put these away now and I will update you guys on how the progress is going. Okay guys, I am popping in to give a little update so far on the self-watering pots. It's only been about five days, but I just wanted to let you know what I am observing at this point. So as you can see, this is my philodendron tortum. I'm gonna move it down here so I can take a better look at it. Um, and the soil is really wet, which is making me nervous. Like, ah, I don't know. I feel like it needs to dry out. I don't know if soil is a good idea for these guys, these watering pots, or if I should have just stuck with a semi-hydro medium. I can see little roots there that still seem to be doing well. The plant looks more or less the same, maybe like a little bit of yellowing, as you can see there, but... Um, I'm just gonna, you know, give it some more time and see what happens. I did double check my water reservoir and it's not touching. Just the, uh, the strings, what the wicks are bringing moisture up. So that is that guy. I mean, it looks so cute. And then down here we have my other one in soil, the Polonia. Um, same thing, very, very wet. Uh, that makes me really skeptical. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we'll see how it goes. It looks good, it feels firm still. And then over in this one is our Lekka option and the leka looks dry on the top like hello and these like don't look great it's kind of curled i don't know okay so it is wet in there oh look at that root oh my gosh okay so it's definitely wet on the bottom it's just not wicking it like all the way to the top which might be fine I'm just used to seeing like a little bit of moisture on the top, but yeah, I don't know. I can see a root right in there. Okay, I'm just gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna give this more time. I'll probably test these out for, um, I don't know, maybe about a month. Um, I think in that amount of time, I should be able to see how well they're working to keep my plants alive or not. Let's go check on the pond one. Okay, so I do have the pawn one in my IKEA greenhouse cabinet. I don't know if that's cheating or how that's gonna change the results, but um, this one, like it looks moist when I look at it, but I can't really tell if it is or not. Um, the plant seems to be in good shape though. I'm just gonna take a look here, see what we can see. I mean, yeah, it definitely looks like it's getting moisture in there. Oh, there's a dead gnat or something floating in there. I mean, so far all of the plants are doing well, so that's a good sign. Okay, hello, here we are doing an update. Today is August 19th, um, so I'll put the however long it's been on the screen. Um, so, today we are doing an update on my self-watering pots, and for the most part, I am confused and pleasantly surprised um so let's just start let's start okay let's start with these soil ones these are right here so these are the two that are in soil now what confuses me about this is that the soil stays wet um like at all times uh and i thought that these plants were just going to be goners right away because of that like i don't really understand how the soil can stay wet and these cannot rot but by some sorcery, uh, these plants are alive and I would say they're even growing. You can see that there are some baby leaves right here. I didn't notice them before. I'll have to look at the footage back, but I think that they're new growth. Um, and my philodendron tortum here looks like it is getting ready to shoot out some new growth from that point there. So keeping an eye on that. Um, and I mentioned before that it had kind of gotten a yellow tip there, but that hasn't continued or spread or anything. The plant looks really healthy. I should also say that at this point, I have not done anything to these plants or these pots. I have not refilled. I have not touched them. Um, so let's just take a look in here. 
there is still water. If I can do this with one hand, let's see. Um, so we can see it's getting lower, but it's still sucking up a lot of water through the wicks there. It's a little dirty from the soil, but looking at this, um, I don't see any roots coming out yet or anything. Let me take a look. Yeah, I can't see any roots or anything on the side yet, but um, yeah, doing really well and my brain can't comprehend how this, I don't know what I was expecting, but I just wasn't expecting it to stay moist the whole time. And it seems like very moist, which is what confuses me. Like I would say it's wet, um, but yeah, okay. So doing really well. And then the Pelionia. Um, right here, like I said, doing really well also, and the leaves are firm, like when this plant isn't doing well, it will go floppy, but the leaves are very firm still, so that tells me that it's happy. And kind of the same thing going on here, um, water's a little bit lower, soil is quite moist, um, yeah, that's about it, so, so far, so good on those. Um, so these are obviously like very, very low maintenance pots um, if you want to go this route, at least for soil, this is going really well. Um, now for LECA, as you can see here, my skindapsis does not look very happy. And this is something else that confuses me. So these are staying very wet, but this LECA, it could be the LECA, it could be the LECA, but this LECA seems to not be wicking up moisture like all the way to the top here. It's very dry. Um, let's take a look in here. Um, I can see that the LECA at the very bottom is moist, but yeah, it just does not seem to be wicking it all up. I can see a lot of white roots there which is good. Oh, that one has like a bit of a brown tip. I have a feeling that this plant might not make it. Sorry if the camera is like super shaky. Um, and it hasn't wicked up hardly any water. Like there's t at least twice as much water in this one um, than there is in the soil one. So I think that this plant is really dehydrated. I might actually, let's do it together, just a sec. I'm just gonna moisten like the top of the LECA because I just feel so bad for this plant. Maybe it will like trigger it to start working better or something, I don't know. Honestly, it might not be the pot though, like this tends to happen to me with LECA and it might just be this type of LECA, but yeah, LECA is just, I don't get lucky with it. Let me know if anyone else has that problem where your LECA just like doesn't wick. But yeah, okay, so that's the update on these guys. I'm gonna go uh, to the plant that we have in pawn. Okay, so our Hoya sigillatas that we have in pawn right here is in my IKEA cabinet. I'm not sure if I've updated you guys since I moved it to the cabinet, but this plant just does best in the cabinet. So I did end up moving it back in here, but we can take a look. It looks like it's doing really well, obviously. Check out this new growth, so cute. Um, let's see, it looks moist, like it looks like, or is it just shiny? I can't tell. I'm assuming that it's wicking properly though, if the plant is growing. Let's take a look in here. Uh, yeah, it pretty much looks the same as the soil one, like it looks like it is wicking water up. Um, I would say that this is working really well for pawn. Yeah, plant is very happy and seems to be working. This looks wet to me, like I'm pretty sure that it's wicking. Yes, my finger's wet, it is wicking. So yeah, this is working. These pots are working great for all of my plants except for the one in pond. Um, so that is going to be the update for August 19th. I will talk to you guys in the next one. Okay you guys, so today is September 5th and I'm going to be sharing my final thoughts about these self-watering pots. Um, I, I don't think anything else is going to change, um, like I'm pretty solid in my opinion now. Um, I wanted to wait until all of these has shown new growth, and the only one that hasn't is the Skindapsis, um, but we'll talk about that. Um, so yeah, these three, the Hoya sigillatus in pond, the Philodendron tortum in soil, and the Pelionia in soil 
have all shown new growth and are doing absolutely phenomenal. Like my overall thoughts about these are that I'm pleasantly surprised. I don't know why I just didn't have very high hopes for these, but yeah, I, I can't believe how well these plants are doing and how easy these have been. Like honestly, if you're looking for to try out self-watering pots, I can 100% recommend. Like this would probably be a game changer for some people. These are so easy to maintain. I think I topped up the water once maybe twice in this whole experiment um and we have been going we had been going through some really hot weather as well so you can leave these alone for like weeks at a time it's freaking amazing and yeah um i i still like don't understand like how the soil can stay this damp and the roots don't rot but i don't know it works <laughs> But yeah, the plants are doing incredible. This plant, I have never had any luck with at all. Um, and for some reason, it's just living its best life, thriving in this pot. So I don't know, guys. I guess I'm just going to be keeping this in the self-watering pot. Yeah, it has tons of new growth and it looks so cute. I can't wait to edit this video and look back at the footage to see what this looked like when I first potted it in because I know it's given me a whole bunch of new leaves. I think that like all of this is new. These ones are new. You can even see like new growth coming in down there. It's just doing amazing. The leaves feel very like firm and healthy. Yeah, incredible. And then my philodendron tortum. Look at how freaking cute this is. It's giving me a new leaf here. Look at it unfurling. Ooh, I love it so much. Yeah, I'm honestly just shook at how well this is doing. Like, when I saw it starting to give me a new leaf, I was just like, oh my goodness, like no way. It is actually doing so well in that pot. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be leaving it in here until it needs to be repotted as well. Doing awesome. And then my Hoya sigillatus, as you guys saw, it gave me these two new leaves, which is just so awesome. This thing is finally turning into a little plant. It used to be just a tiny, tiny, like one or two leaf cutting, and now it's taking off. It still lives in the IKEA greenhouse cabinet, and it's doing really well. I just topped up its water reservoir yesterday. I have a couple more of these pots left and I think I'm probably going to end up using them with Pond because it just works really well to be able to have the water reservoir there. And then we have these Candapsis Exotica here which has not given me new growth and I'm not sure if that's due to Scandapsis being kind of slow to establish which might be it. Um, or it could possibly be, be due to my Leca which I mentioned before. Like I don't, I don't know, sometimes this Leca just gives me a hard time. Um, Let's see if we can see any roots. Okay, so it's definitely been growing roots. Like, there's definitely more roots than there was before. So maybe it will establish itself yet and give me some new leaves. It looks like the Leca is like pretty moist as well. So that's good. Um, the leaves look healthy. Like, these aren't curled or anything. So I do have hope that it will give me some new growth in the future. Leca is just not my favorite medium in general, so I would definitely um, go for Pawn before Leca. I just kind of wanted to test a few different mediums to see how it would go. But yeah, these pots with um, Pawn and Soil, incredible. So yeah, I'm just really happy that this little experiment was successful. And now I have these happy, happy plants growing and so low maintenance as well. I do still want to paint these pots in the future, maybe black. I mean, maybe I'll leave them. I don't know, white pots aren't really my jam, but it's not like they're not the worst. So yeah, but it would be nice to paint them black. Anyways, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will link these pots down below if you're interested. And yeah, leave me a comment, let me know. First of all, let me know if you like this style of video where I'm like testing something out or showing something over a period of several weeks or months. And let me know if you use self-watering pots. I would love to hear your experiences and your opinions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. It really helps me out and lets me know that you like this type of content. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.